Hello folks, uh, uh, this is me once again and this time in the classroom but uh, uh, this time I have uh, used a new approach because I am using the projector here. So uh, folks, uh, we finished our uh, P2 exams yesterday and uh, now our turn is a P4 exam. So uh, throughout this week I will be dealing with some P4 questions and the proper approach on how to uh, attempt those questions. So when I do uh, in the projector uh, because of this uh, light system actually I am not an expert in that so I might appear blacker but still I am here so just remember I am here so if I do like this uh, my face might appear but uh, uh, when I do like this it might not appear but still the sound is there and the action is there. So uh, uh, for this uh, purpose I have started to from uh, started, started a question from the nuclear physics chapter so here it is and uh, this uh, question belongs to this question belongs to uh, this year this is uh, 2013. 13 October November paper 43 paper 43 and the question number is 8 so it shows up here question number is 8 so it says that uh, one possible nuclear fission reaction is uh, uranium 235-92 plus neutron 10 gives barium 14156 plus uh, krypton 9236 plus 3 neutron 10 neutron 10 uh, plus energy so barium uh, uh, something and uh, krypton something are both beta emitters, they emit beta particles that means barium 141 has a half life of 18 minutes and uh, decay constant of uh, 6.4 into 10 power minus 4 seconds I have per second I have written it here and the half life of uh, krypton energy is also 3.0 uh, seconds it is given here, given here. So state what is mean by decay constant so I will not be spending my time on that just rate per rate of disintegration actually disintegration per unit time. Now uh, I will start with the number B. In question number B it says that let me take it uh, further up. Uh, it says that a mass of 1.2 gram of uranium 235 undergoes this nuclear reaction in a very short time few nanoseconds. Calculate the number of barium 141 nuclei that are present immediately after the reaction has been completed. So we have been given the mass of uranium 235 and we need to find the number of barium uh, 141 immediately after the uh, reaction has happened. So that means that uh, the number of barium atoms formed is equal to the number of uranium atoms present because one uranium is giving one barium, it is one to one. So what we need to do is first we need to find, we need to find the number of uranium atoms before the reaction and the number of barium atoms will be equal to that number. So for that purpose what we can do is, let us remember one thing that so when we have a mass equal to mass equal to the uh, molar mass of a certain substance which is 235 gram here gram here so when we have this this much gram is equal to equal to this will house this much number of molecules which is the Avogadro number which is the Avogadro number so 235 gram of uranium will have this much number of atoms so that means so 1.2 grams will give 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 into 1.2 divided it will be 235. So when I do calculations it will give me, it will give me, so let me use a calculator here. So this thing will give me uh, 6.023 exponent 23 into, into 1.2 divided 235. So this thing has given me a value given me a value 3.0008 3 into 10 to the power 21. So number of uranium atoms is equal to this much. So this means that this means the number of barium atoms barium 141 nuclei nuclei is equal to number of number of uranium 235 nuclei nuclei and that is equal to 3.08 into 10 to the power 21. So the answer is 3.08 into 10 to the power 21. Since this is a number I do not have to write the units. So let me write it here uh, the data that I might require later. So we have got number of initial number of barium, barium atoms is equal to barium atoms is equal to atoms is equal to 3.08 into 10 to the power 21. And similarly, one thing that we also have to remember is the number of cryptons at krypton atoms also should be same because they are all one to one. So that is why I can write it here number of krypton atoms also is equal to 3.08 into 10 to the power 21. So this is the beginning, it is in the very beginning of the, 
beginning as soon as the reaction has happened. I, I, I can say like that. So now, so now the next question is, let me rub this. So this is the beauty of working in a projector. So uh, let me rub this. Now I am open for another round of questions. So this one says that using your answers in B1, the thing that we have just done, calculate the total activity of uh, barium 141 and uh, krypton 92 at a time of uh, one hour after the fission reaction has taken place. So we have to find the activity. We have to find the activity after one hour. It's not the number of atoms. It is the number of. It is the activity that. Uh, uh, that is happening after this this much hours of the reaction that taken place. So the formula for activity is what I have is uh, activity A is equal to d n by d t d n by d t and that's equal to that's equal to uh, lambda n lambda n. Uh, so that means we have this lambda is okay n is n naught e to the power minus lambda t minus lambda t. So activity is equal to this much equal this much. So now what we have is here we have to find activity after some time. So we will be using this uh, particular formula. So we have got uh, lambda here, we have got lambda here and we have got uh, n naught here e lambda uh, t one second. So this one hour will be here, one hour will be here, lambda will be somewhere here, lambda of barium and uh, uh, n naught is there, barium's n naught of barium is this much. So this gives us the barium uh, activity of barium. And we have to do the same thing for krypton as well. We have to do the same thing for krypton as well. So for barium, we will have, so lambda of barium after this much number of time is equal to, first it is lambda of barium, lambda of barium is, uh, uh, so let us write the formula, lambda, sorry, this is activity of barium, activity of barium is equal to lambda barium, lambda barium, this is n naught of barium, again, once again, barium e power minus lambda of barium and then this time. So that is equal to lambda of barium is equal to here we have got 6.4 into 10 to the power minus 4 into n naught is this much of barium it is 3.08 into 10 to the power 21 uh, e power e power then we have again lambda of barium which is 6.4 into 10 to the power minus 4 into the time now is 1 hour. 1 hour is equal to, we have to do it in seconds because this thing is in second. So in second it is 3600. So this will be 3600 seconds. So now we have to do this calculation. So this calculation will come out to be equal to, equal to, so somewhat a tough calculation. It might take, uh, take a bit of uh, time. So uh, please bear with me. <coughs> so, so, so we have got shift to, Yes, so we have uh, uh, <coughs> uh, 3600 into, into minus 0 0.00064 equal to, yes, uh, into 3.08 exponent 21 into 6.4 exponent minus 4. So this will be equal to, so this activity is equal to 1.9684 into 10 to the power 17 per second. So this is the activity of barium. Now when I do the same for krypton, first of all I have to find a lambda for krypton because it is not given here lambda barium given here, lambda krypton not given here. So lambda for, for krypton will be equal to, will be equal to 0 0.693 by t 0 0.5, half life of krypton, that is equal to 0 0.693 divided t 0 0.5 will be 3.0. So this becomes, so this becomes what we have is 0 0.693 divided 3 equal to so it is 0 0.231, 0 0.2231. So activity of krypton will be equal to lambda krypton, NO of krypton, krypton, E power minus lambda krypton and then again time. So that is equal to, so lambda of krypton is 0 0.231 into 
3.08 into 10 to the power 21 e power minus 0.231 into 3600. So for Krypton, the data is uh, slightly different because uh, lambda is uh, not as less as that of barium. So this will be equal to, so let me do in the calculator, shift uh, this uh, <coughs> uh, 3600 into minus 0 0.231, 1, 1, 1, equal to, equal to, so it is giving me uh, zero value. I don't know why it is giving me zero, zero value. Uh, so this uh, lambda is equal to this much. <coughs> Shift E uh, minus 231 minus, so, sorry, sorry. Uh, minus 0 0.231 uh, into 3600 equal to it is uh, uh, it is equal to 0 so this means the activity is so activity total is equal to it is just the activity of barium so it becomes 1.9684 into 10 to the power 17 plus 0 equal to 1.9684 into 10 to the power 17. So when I write it here, it will become it will be become 1.97 into 10 to the power 17 backrails. So this should be the activity.